there are quite a few really positive things about the old mill. This is 1937, uh, Silly Symphonies Disney short, and a lot of monumental aspects. But when it comes to the actual animation and the colours they chose and the actual music, I just didn't really find it that engaging, which is weird because usually with Silly Symphonies, the soundtrack is what makes it brilliant. The narrative can be odd or the animation can be not that great. But actually... I didn't really enjoy any of this but I read about it on Wikipedia afterwards and I can see that it's quite monumental in a lot of progression with the shorts and specifically Silly Symphonies so in that respect brilliant but actually watching it I didn't get much out of it this was directed by Wilfred Jackson produced by Disney and according to Wikipedia and I'm assuming that this is correct um, it was actually the first Silly Symphony to be released by RKO and it was later um, reissued to theatres by Buena Vista of course but this one was one of the first test animations for advanced animation techniques with Disney and it's the first time Disney used multiplane camera and they're using a lot more realistic animal behaviour here. Obviously if you've seen previous Silly Symphonies You'll know what I'm talking about, where the animals are walking on hind legs when they should be on all fours and things like that. So in that respect, yes, I can completely see that the animal behaviour was really quite fascinating to watch. Basically, it's all about this mill and the natural habitat, the owls that are there, there's an, the bats that are there, the different animals that have made this mill their home and how they cope with adverse weather. And from an educational perspective, that's pretty great. It shows that life isn't easy for anybody including the animals they have to come up against the elements and I do think that yes if this is an experiment to see how well they can make animals appear a bit more lifelike and a bit more realistic to what we usually get from silly symphonies it did the job but for me I feel like it was very dark and from the very beginning it was quite foreboding and yes that works with the narrative but silly symphonies are meant to be quite a bit more fun and maybe a bit peculiar and this one just seems a bit too normal really so on its own it's fairly interesting and you know it presents a lot of positive points um with some quite realistic or as far as realistic it can be in animation um no extreme weather but for a silly symphony i feel like it's probably one of the weakest that i've seen so far it's pretty la lengthy as well it's just under 10 minutes, I believe it's about 9 minutes, which again, for a silly symphony, is actually quite long. So I feel like because the narrative itself wasn't that compelling and it was quite dark and the colours weren't that engaging and the music wasn't that great, it just seemed to drag, which for a short is never going to be a good thing. So it's not bad. It certainly has a lot of positive points about it. But compared to other silly symphony shorts, it just isn't quite as good as the rest. 